Okay, so where the fuck are we? Um, Africa. I don't know what part though. East Africa. East Africa. Tanzania. We were on the lions, tigers, and bears. There's, and no, there's, no, there's bears. no bears. Right, there's no bears. There's got to be a bear around here somewhere. Maybe. All Africa there ain't one bear. So we're. Uh, this is Green Light. Your host, Chris Long. Special, special, special guest. Now, here. don't say special like it's like. I'm <laughs> no, I mean like this right. is the best guest I've ever had. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You think I was just going to start the pod and just shit on you? Right. I hope not. No. Because I was about to end the shit real quick. Yeah, okay. You. This is William Hayes, and he's not going to end it because we have this uh, remote podcast thing set up. It's the first time I've ever set it up, so Godspeed. I hope I hope it actually works. Um, Will is staying in a tented – it's, like it's like a tent, right? Yeah, but it looks like a house also. Yeah. Well, it's um, – it's a five star tent. It's like a hundred yards away, and it's dark outside. It's nine o'clock at night, um, and there's lions out there. There's what else is out there? Hyenas. I done heard well a couple of them. There's uh, there's hippos, all types of Some antelope. treacherous animals that could absolutely murk us both. No, 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 no. I ain't getting murked by nothing. Okay, well, yeah, I ain't just killing I, something out here. Okay, and all that's right. why you have been tipping, like literally receptionists and stuff to walk into your room right true or false i have the whole time and so, i'm gonna keep doing it so as bad as this podcast and, 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 go, and, and i'm looking for the baddest motherfucker to walk me to that room every night too i ain't gonna ain't gonna be nobody who i know that i can whoop real quick you know what i mean so there's people on this resort that can whoop you oh yeah man it's the dude walking around here with a damn uh a machete he's a maasai tribesman right. and uh he's he's essentially um I mean, these dudes are badass. Right, he had to go kill a, a, a lion as a youth to like become one with the tribe. <laughs> now you trying to tell me? Now you, as a child, you go out to fight a lion. Yeah, you're a bad boy. Yeah, so I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with you. So that's your security detail to the room every night. Oh yeah, been, and, and I pay him good too. You've been slipping everybody Abraham Lincoln's. What? <laughs> I had to do seventy five dollars when we left. For what? For walking me to my room every night. <laughs> My safety is important to me. Yeah, your safety is important to me, too. You're an integral part of this Water Boys trip. We're out All here right. for Water Boys. Um, so, again, I don't even know if I've said who it is yet. You, didn't, you said it like three or four times. You're like, William I'm Hayes. Here. You're right. William Hayes. Right. William Hayes. I, I'm real, I like the Water Boys thing, too. It's, it's a very special thing you're doing. But Thanks, bro. I got a whole another initiative that I wanna, want you to start up. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get to that in a minute because okay. we're here for – I just want to give people a little background information. I uh, Every year I bring uh, NFL players and uh, veterans over to Tanzania to raise money for clean water. We do projects out here. We do projects in Kenya. We do some projects domestically with uh, Hometown H2O. We have an NBA branch, Hoops 2 Um But we bring folks over to learn about – you know, this beautiful country, Tanzania, which is the place that I first uh, had passion for this this cause. So some of the guys climb, Killy. Um, some of them were just starting this safari program. So this right. year I'm doing the safari program. We've got uh, Greg Bell, former Ram, Chris Draft, former Ram Panther, Whitney Merciless, um, Houston Texan, uh, Miles Garrett, Cleveland Brown, uh, also a paleontologist. Oh, yeah. Uh, Big time dinosaur guy. And um, he's going to he's gonna be a... <laughs> He's gonna go. Be, he's gonna go dig for bones when he's done playing football. He's he's tired of you already. This uh-huh. trip. He's tired of your uh, dinosaur denying. I know. I'm, I'm not messing with mouse. So so basically, it's myself and William in addition to that group, uh, and we are doing the safari thing. And we, we got are, Moses too. Moses is our safari driver. Yeah, big he's part, a he's a bit intricate part of big, like big part of, the of trip. my safety. Yep, he's a big part of William's safety. So there's an entire team here facilitating William's right. safety. Right, I was about to use the bathroom today. He was like, oh, it's lines out here. I was like, oh, don't worry about me using the bathroom then. So we're on safari. So it's been a two, three-day safari. It's a safari program. Where, yeah, I had to start this uh, safari program because not everybody wants to climb Kelly. Oh, no. <laughs> that's that's over. So there would be no chance of me ever getting you out here if there were not the safari program, essentially. Hell right? no. So it's I'm effective. Not, no, because it's, it's like animals around us. Yeah. Right, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, I ain't no. walking up. No, I'm not walking up no mountain, regardless of the situation. Yeah, with wildlife. Yeah, and the, yeah, they got guns. No, there's no guns up there, but also like your climb starts at like 8,500 feet. There's not a lot of lions there. Right, but you got to start there. Like, so when you start going walking from the bottom up, there's a potential to be a lion. Well, no, see, technically, um, we are in 
Arusha, which is at where we where we usually fly into Tanzania to do Kelly, which a number of guys do. I've been doing Kelly for years with NFL players and veterans, and then you know, as I said, we started the safari program. But when Will and I and anybody who visits here to go on safari or Kelly, a lot of times they stay in Arusha the first night. Arusha is five thousand feet. You drive four or five hours and gain three thousand feet of elevation, so right. you start at eighty five hundred. So there's no, there's really not a big threat of lions at 8,500. So what, what animals up there? Uh, you'll see some monkeys. You'll see some cool birds. Mountain uh, lions. The, we don't have mountain lions here in Tanzania. Oh wow. why? Why? Right. Because <laughs> they live in North America. I'm not sure about all that either. What? what it's got to be some other type of wild animal up there. Well, they, uh, they actually interest- mambas. There's no mambas, uh, evidently. And I made sure of that because black mambas are the number one deterrent for me, like spending a lot of time in Tanzania. Uh, there's no mambas evidently up there. Now there are, there are some snakes, but there's no mambas. Now like poisonous snakes. I'm not positive. There's poisonous snakes or not. It's better. I don't know that. All right. So essentially to answer your question, 8,500 feet, there's really not a lion issue. Is that back in the day? Mosquitoes. And there's some mosquitoes. Yeah. So, so back in the day they said at uh, you know, the Shira plateau, which is like, you know, even 1,200 or, you know, 12,000, 11,000 feet in there, uh, which is above the, the kind of forest where you put in. Um, they said that back in the day before people frequent in K- Kelly, you'd get lions that wander up there. So all those lions gone? They're gone. Okay. The, leave it to the guides to uh, right to convince. Right. But interestingly enough, a year or two ago, they found elephant bones at uh, Kibo Hut, which is 15,000 feet. It's the last camp before you summit Kelly. They found elephant bones. It might not have been elephant. What? What could it have been? Some type of prehistoric dinosaur. Just you. Th- oh, so you do what's believe the, what's in the dinosaurs, dinosaurs with the little, the little things? The woolly, was it? woolly mammoth. Yeah, it could have been a woolly mammoth. So you do believe in dinosaurs. Yeah. So we'll get. We're, we're gonna Y'all get, seen them up there, Dean? We're gonna get to that in a minute. What William does not believe in dinosaurs. Again, eleven year. Uh, well, 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 you probably could have took his leg and made a made something out of it. Here, here we go with the whole fossil denier. Uh, All right, let's go. Let's let's get this so, moving. So f- again, to reiterate, William, who does not want to climb Kilimanjaro for the reasons I just listed, no, it's not. Would we'll never climb Kilimanjaro. Yes. Yeah, so he would never be here if it weren't for this safari trip, which is great. No, I no, the, I know. I, I like to meet the people. Yeah, we're go- well. We're right. going to the villages. Right. That's yeah, great. We're gonna. That's all- so we're gonna go look at some projects. Uh, I'm going. To, I want. Think about going to the Kenya. You're thinking about going to Kenya in, just on your in own. June. No, with y'all. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. You talked to John about that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so, Woody. Okay, good. Shout out to Nicole Woody. Runs yeah. my foundation. Uh, you Shout out to Rams. Wood. So, so essentially, um, you know, we're doing the safari thing, and then we're going to go see projects. But we've been at this thing for like three days now. We were staying in the Serengeti, uh, which is a huge, huge, expansive park. Yeah, uh, I don't think y'all did. You don't, I don't think you did a good job with placing that rooms, though. The beautiful rooms. Beautiful rooms, but you put it in the midst of lions. God damn! I know you just heard that, that lion. lion. Oh, oh my god! Shit. <laughs> you heard it? Am I tripping? You're not. Hold on a second. Like, Golly! So we just definitely heard a fucking lion. Yeah, right where we living at, and that don't make sense to me. That you, you see what I'm saying? What? We just heard a lion right outside the. Our room, a tent. Yeah, I mean, we're staying in these tents. They're like, they're like um, quote unquote tents. They're not like they're not really no. They're they're structures. They're structures that are tented. So you know, like if you were to book a high end wedding, they would put you in a tent like this. Uh, but a high end wedding? Are you talking about Africa? No, I'm saying like just in the states. If you were booking like a high end wedding and you had a rain plan, you know the the really nice tenting that people use. That's the tenting that we're using. Nah, well we, we normally do it in churches and like people stay in hotels. Oh, is that? Nah, right? hell no. Nah, we don't do that tent shit. <laughs> okay, I ain't never heard that. Some white people shit. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't some white people. I'm pretty sure some black people stay in the tents yeah. too. Yeah, I didn't see them out here, so I know some people stay in the tents. <laughs> black people, you know. You heard it? Yeah, I heard some again. Is that a lion? Hell yeah, you did. Man, come on, man. Hold on, let me take one headphone off. I got the headphones on. That's kind of the problem. It was like three of them again. Yeah. Do you know lions bark and not roar? (laughs) Yeah, I hear it. 
Thank you. Um, th- I learned that. That they bark and not roar. It they don't roar. It, it doesn't sound like your typical um, like movie lion roar. Like, you know, the intro. How do it sound? Intro to, uh, I'm not doing it. No, you've been doing it the whole time. I you know, can't, do it, for, you, you can't right. do it for people on. Uh, uh, green Light Pod. That's the name of the podcast, Green Light Pod. Green Light Pod. You can't you can't do it for the Green Light Pod. No, Make, I, no I can't because why? I value our safety first and there's a fucking lion I know, but tent, like, so I don't want to. We inside here. Let's just, I don't want to. Can paint. you please just give them like one one animal noise? Well, how did I describe this dwelling? Yeah, it's do a that. tent. Twin, tent, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, whatever. So, so, the so, structure. Like, can you just make the this noise and then we can move on? Come on. There's people outside walking. Yeah, they about to get eaten. Not if it's my foundation director. Is that Nicole? What? What you gonna do? Go out there and save her? We have to. I can't. Oh no, Nicole's one dead motherfucker. <laughs> There's a line out there. <laughs> hey, listen, I tell you that right now. I love Nick Woody to death, but I ain't going out there to save her. Oh. She has lunch food. Lunch food? Oh yeah. He gonna drag her ass out there in the woods and eat her ass tomorrow, and I ain't got nothing to do with it. Also, black mamba is terrifying. They call him the uh, seven step snake out here. Yeah. Um, because they say you have seven steps and you're gonna die. Twenty minutes um, after they bite you, supposedly, if you don't get the antivenom in you, you're fucked. And they're out here. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, though. They're definitely out here. I don't know if they're that poisonous. They're pretty fucking poisonous. John, the guy we're with, said he knew of a story of uh, three dudes that they hang out by like rivers and stuff, and a lot of villagers like actually gathering water which is like actually is, makes makes a lot of sense okay. um, are down by the river gathering water or cutting up firewood and mambas like hang out on the banks and and john told me an anecdotal story of three dudes that were down by the river cutting firewood all got hit they died in the car they couldn't even get to the village it's a neurotoxin how, how long did it take 20 minutes supposedly mm-hmm. that's kind of like the going rate uh, on Black Mamba, so I got bit by a brown recluse spider. Me too, and I didn't even go to a doctor. That's that's weird. Yeah, and I and I didn't even like. I really didn't get a fever or anything. Yeah, I, I just I, ate it. Where where did uh, it bite you? Huh? Where did it bite you? My shoulder. I got it on the ankle, right ankle. Right. Yeah, so still got a scar. Yeah, I ate it. Really? Yeah. So I might have an anti venom. You might be immune. To, yeah. No, I don't. I don't think that works. If you're like uh, immune to spiders, I don't think it crosses over to. No, nah, I went when I came to Africa the first time. I got me some vibranium. Come again? When I went to Africa the first time, I got me some vibranium, so I don't have those issues. <laughs> it's from the movie. What movie? Black Panther. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, hey, that movie was inspiring to my community. <laughs> I can't, hey, what I can't you mean? deal with you right now. No, I'm serious. No, I, I've legit heard people say that, and I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't believe. Chadwick Boseman, Bo, Bosworth. What, yeah. What's his name? Bo- Black Panther. What's his name, dude? I don't know. It's, I know it's Chadwick with something. You're gonna get more heat for that than me. What? I'm not. Getting I, heat I know for exactly that. who he is. Like I know if what I you saw. Mean? Him. I, I don't because I don't know the actor's Chadwick name. Chadwick Boseman, I think is his name. But it, yeah, Boseman. I was right You're the right, first right. time. Like, it scared the shit out of me. Um he, I think he gets tired of doing that symbol. I don't. He can't. You see all the pictures that he looks like pretty exhausted by right. everybody walking. If I ever him. see him, yeah, in public, I'm throwing the symbol up. And he's gonna roll his eyes. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. He's gonna, like, he's gonna throw it back at me. Oh, he, ain't, he has no choice. I will go tap him on the shoulder, and I will definitely get his attention. And what if he's like guards? Guards for what? I ain't doing that. I ain't trying to hurt him. This random dude just touched my shoulder. Like he brought us together, boss. It's deeper than the shit you know. Okay. Uh, anyways, all right. Let's what were on. we talking about? Your bullshit story about vibranium. Um, all right. Black mamas. So everywhere you go here, like they could be out. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, that's 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 nine feet long, extremely venomous. That's that's what stopped me from really going out. Yeah, I haven't been by no pool. I went to the pool. No, twice. no, I didn't. But I did think about that when I jumped in today. I was like, you know, when you're a kid and you jump in a pool and you think about, is there snakes in here? Right. Is there sharks in here? Right. I don't know if you used to think there were sharks in pools. No, I never think there was a shark in a pool. I thought there were, like, in the deep end. I thought there was a great white shark. In, like, a swimming pool? No, I didn't think it. But, you know, generally, that's, like, a kid thing to be a little bit afraid of a shark. Like, think about sharks. Like, at the beach? The The deep end of a pool, bro. If you're six, seven years old, you might think about it once or twice. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like at six or seven, we had like the little bitty pools. Yes. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the little circle pools. Yes. Like two feet. 
Yes. So I wasn't really worried about a shark getting me out of that. Well, yeah, I mean, but, you know. When I moved up to, like, the regular pools, I was, like, middle school. Yeah, just trust me on this one. You think about sharks sometimes. Yeah, at the ocean. I don't even put my... I think that's still a lion. No, come on, you hear it. No, it's... (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you're not crazy. But I don't even put my feet in the water water at the ocean. Because I'm terrified of sharks. Me too. I mean, I I put my feet in the water. I got bit by a fish at the ocean. But can I tell you this? What what, what the problem is, I thought about the black mamba today when I jumped in the pool. Okay, why? It it, it popped in my head. It pops in my head on the shitter. Like, you you come up through... Snakes come up through the toilet. That's what I'm saying. Right. Absolutely. I don't... don't, How do we shit? I don't don't sit on the toilet. How do do we shit? You stand up. Yeah, and hopefully it just hits the water. <laughs> because, of the, because of the black mamba? Yeah, yeah. You just... It's very creative that you made that up right. on the spot. What you mean? Because there's no way that's what you're doing. I'll show you next time. I'm not not interested. I'm um, just telling you. Okay. It's like a, a real stand up over the okay, toilet and just hopefully it falls he's in. He's showing me... Uh, he just stood up, like, to show me what it looks like to, to, like, I had to imagine the stance that you, right. yeah. Yeah, you gotta just split the toilet. So, and just, so, I do worry about black mamas. Um, we have not seen one out here. I did see a spitting cobra one, one year. That was pretty dope. Um. What you mean dope? It was fucking cool, dude. He was at a distance where. So, like, if you seen a black mamba in the distance, you'd be, like, kind of, like. I'd be kind of hyped. Oh, no, nah, not me. I gotta know my opponent. What do you mean? Got to know my opponent. Got to know what I'm dealing with. We saw all the other animals. Black mambas kind of... That's the only thing that scares you. I mean, I have a healthy fear for all these animals, but, you know, I have a scouting report on the other other ones. I have not seen a black mamba in person. Okay. We saw we saw baboons up on, like, a 100-foot rock. Yeah, that was pretty cool. They were hiding from a lion. Right. We also saw, like, lions up in a tree. We saw a cheetah with four... Uh, cubs. Four cubs. I thought cheetah was all right with me. I thought the cheetah was the coolest... And cause they like the cubs was cool, like they just went and laid up on the carpet to put a shade. Great disposition. Um, the impalas are just fucking boring. Like even there's so many of them that you used to, you don't even get excited about them. No you're more. like, dude, I just fucking flew halfway around the world and uh, I see a different looking deer. Yeah. Um, and also, you know, even the safari guides are like, oh impala. Right. Like, oh. It's like 50 of them. Okay, you keep seeing like them. when it's quiet and we haven't seen anything in a while, like you ever notice Moses, like he's like, oh, I got to show him there's some fucking animals out right. here. Right. And he'll be like, oh, Impala. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dick Dicks. Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, well you show us a dick, dick bird. Are, I'm again, like, they're the miniature deer. They're like, they go up, they come up to your knee and they are called Dick Dicks. And, um, and they're really like not, they're not scared of humans. They're think. really not. I walked right up to one. Uh, yesterday on the way to the pool. I actually, like, was I actually had one as a pet. He stayed in my room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You. Okay. I'm not even gonna talk that one out. What? I'm not gonna talk it out. Um. So we 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 saw that. We saw a fucking oh hippo pool. Yeah, that hippo wasn't that cool to me. I didn't think so. I didn't like the hippos. You weren't into the hippos. No, that was pretty stupid. They just laid in the water and like I think threw they, poop everywhere. That's the worst. That's the worst take of the pod. What? That that the hippos are overrated. They was definitely overrated. They just stayed there. They didn't do no, oh. They just and they did open their mouth up. Yeah, that's it was it. fucking cool. And they're the size of you know minivans. And they slung poop the whole time. They do. They they take dumps. And you they, can't even you can't even they, like you really can't even focus right now because you keep hearing that line outside. Yeah. There. <laughs> right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> right. There's a lion outside. Um. So so the hippos they they take dumps and they uh they flip their uh, tail back and forth to to just like fling the shit. It like they fling turds like the 30 t- yards yeah. each way. And uh they got big teeth, you know, you you grow up on hippos as being these really gentle giants. But they're really mean though. They're mean. They like the most deaths in uh they Yeah, I think they got the most uh most um deaths. Most kills to their name. Yeah, uh, you gotta respect that though. An animal to be reckoned with. Because you think about it, a hippo ain't just like walking up like like you you put yourself in a situation to get killed by a hippo. Yeah, that you're not just like walking to the market getting right. attacked by a hippo. Yeah, you decide to go up to the water and like, oh, let me get a self. Well, you know that. Well, uh, to to well, play, you walk by to play, playing devil's advocate here. A lot of water sources. You know, a lot of people getting water from the same places that hippos are. Right. So that would factor into that statistic as well. So I mean that's that's good you digging these wells so yeah so that's yep so what that's deep <laughs> it's deep 
Uh, we also uh, we also saw a kill today. Finally, Will wanted to see a kill. Oh man, you know I've been all on that. All on it. Yeah, me and my son look at Nat Geo every day, and we look at kills. So to come out here and be able to see a lion that which they don't eat birds, eat a bird. Goddamn! What boy, the fuck I know you that? heard that, see long. <laughs> I know you heard it. Something just got killed. <laughs> you hear? It? We're talking about a kill. No, I'm just saying. I know, but we're talking about a fucking kill. I think they understand our language. But you heard something just holler. I think those animals understand our language, bro. All right. Maybe I'm tripping. No, I I, I heard it too. All right. Keep it on. That's either a really creaky gate or if something just getting its fucking jugular Come on, jugular man. You know there ain't bit. no damn gate. We've been out here the whole time. You ain't heard nothing sound like that, dog. Sounds like a fucking... Something getting mauled. <sighs> Jeez. Um... Yeah, the the fucking the impala is overrated. Uh, elephant, terrific animal. Oh, oh, elephants are dope. Terrific animal. If I if I think that's like the animal I would want to be, but I can't really choose them because of being chosen already. Oh yeah, we were playing spirit animal in the safari truck, right. uh, and um, who who picked an elephant? Ben. Oh yeah, Ben Garland. Yeah, he, uh, and he had a great reason for it too. Garland picked uh, an elephant because. You know, family oriented and uh, generally gentle and less provoked. Right. Um, and when they get provoked, they can get they can get nasty. Right. Uh, what was your spirit animal? My spirit animal. I, you know, I'm going back and forth between. Um, sometimes I feel like a hyena. Sometimes okay. I feel like a leopard. Why? Why you feel like a hyena? But well, didn't you say the leopard was like your least favorite animal? No, the least least favorite um, encounter okay. for me. Um, it was underwhelming, but. I do like the fact that the leopard is kind of observant. You know, it's sitting up in the tree. It's off to itself. It can. It's doing its own thing. Okay. You know, it, it doesn't have to answer to anybody. Right. Um, but then sometimes I feel like a hyena, man. Scavenger. Just a fucking scavenger. You just wait till somebody like you can't kill nothing yourself, so you just yeah. Wait I just feel like a total you, waste of space. And you just you know? eat the bones. And sometimes you feel like a, a dignified leopard. Sometimes you feel like a you know a real shit. You just don't want to do much work. No, I get just, it. Yeah. So I. Hyena, hyenas are real cool. They they are a lot cooler than what I thought they were going to be. Yeah, they're totally, they get bad raps in movies. They, you know, a hyena is always a villain in a movie. He is. He deserves okay. to be a villain too, though. Okay, well, the lion deserves to be a bit of a villain as well. What did we learn on this trip? That male lions, if they come out and take over a pride, they kill all the babies. They kill all the babies. Yeah, I, I can't respect that. They also don't really, like the males, they don't really do the hunting. Right, but like, then again, you got to kind of respect the line, too. He I, don't, don't want to carry nobody else's baggage, dog. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I, you know, I, get, like, I get that think part. Think about like, if like, you had a woman with like four kids and she was like very attractive. Yeah. And you could be like, listen, we're going to go put all these kids in the um, orphanage. Can't, can't, what? And then maybe you're going to start our own life. That's, <laughs> that's what the line does. That's either. what the line does. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like it. I thought you were going to say that the, the woman's putting the kid through college. No, because uh-uh. yeah, because she's out hunting, dude. She's like the the, the like the, right, the, until, the, the until, lion until the new milk the lioness. Man, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like she got Simba and the male there. lion gets so much undue credit in uh, in in film and uh, in yeah. cartoon film, and and I'm tired of it. I think I'm, I've hit my boiling point with it. Yeah. You know, we I'm on this safari. I'm I'm hearing that lions kill. Um, Kill babies yeah. indiscriminately. It kind, of, it kind of make you not respect Mufasa for so much. It, yeah, liking. I don't. It makes me question Disney. Right. It makes me question, you know, because like because they made Mustafa look like like a real guy. Who is he it? He wasn't Mustafa from Lion King. <laughs> he just screwed up Mufasa's Mufasa. name three different ways. Mustafa, Mustafa, Mufasa. Are you Mufasa? That's it, go. Mufasa, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> they made him look like a like a real dude. Like I'm just. So, but I didn't even like it the way he died in the movie. Yeah, well, yeah, so, the last one or the last one or the the one he back when we were kids. One. Yeah, but did he? Did you see the the new one? Yeah, the movie, like the real. Was movie. Mufasa back? Yeah, he was back, but it was, I didn't like that movie at all. So did he die in that movie? Oh yeah, it's, it's the same movie. Oh, so it's the same movie. Yeah, it's the same movie. They just just reanimated. Like, right with. Real animals. See, I heard somebody talking about Mufasa. <laughs> so, like, Mufasa's back. And I'm like, how the fuck they write him back in the script? He's no, he's dead. back. But he's dead again. <laughs> it's the same fucking script. It's the same as that movie. Gotcha. It's the exact same movie. But it's it's, it's like lions talking. So yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. 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 Cool. It's, you cool they also it. talked in the first movie. Right, but it was a cartoon. Yeah. 
Okay. Right. So it's a real lion. Like so, the C- the CGI makes it like so. It makes it so. His mouth, like everything, he talks. It's so very- so. I got to question all those movies now. Um, I just can't respect the lion anymore. The way I mean, like, and I have a lion tattoo on my on my back. Yeah, you need to go get it covered up. Fairly large. And put a um jackal. A, a, that's that's your favorite animal. Oh, the jackal was cool. The coolest animal we've seen. What was your number two again? Um, a turtle. Which is absurd. It wasn't even a remarkable fucking turtle. This no, turtle looked like, like the turtle that Doctor Fax, um, Nate Collins, you know, my buddy who's on Green Light Pot a lot. He brought a turtle home from the James River in college. Right. So Had it in a box ever since. That's that's what the fucking turtle that you saw. No, the turtle, like, it was what he was doing. What was he doing? Just chilling on a rock in a little puddle, dog. And he wasn't bothering nobody. That's kind of what they do, like, geographically, worldwide. Right, but that's what he they did do. in Africa, so, like, which, is, which made it even cooler. Just all that chaos commotion going on right. around him, and he was just, like... Just chilling. I got a hyena on one side, a lion on the other side, and... He, you know, he he just mind his own damn business. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it was fucking. The, cool. But the jackal was pretty cool. You gotta give it, give me that one. The jackal, yeah, I mean that. The jackal I did, was pretty I cool. You had, ex- you had a lion legit eating a wildebeest's head. You had what six, seven hyenas across the street. Yes, and the jackal was sitting between them, like and didn't even like budge. The jackal was cool as fuck. The, the way, jackal didn't even the, move from the... The way he was the, laying there, I mean, like, you know, 100 it, yards away, a lion is just dragging a fucking 3,000-pound wildebeest... Or, and, no, a, a, a buffalo. And, and and you had... What's it called? And you had some hyenas on your street. Yeah, hyenas uh, watching the lion, waiting for him to, you know, walk off so they could finish off the kill. And what's the jackal doing? Jackal was, like, laying on his side with his... With his legs crossed and his fucking hand supporting his head with his elbow on the ground, like Damn that's man. exactly what he was doing. It looked like, like it. That's the you know the 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 animal kingdom form of that pose is what he was doing. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciated it. He too. showed me he was a real person. And for you to for you to to select the jackal as your power rankings number one animal in the park, right. that was a little bit shocking. That sent shockwaves through the entire group. Yeah, that's cool. But now I'm I'm starting to get it. It's compelling. You got to understand it though. Yeah. Like, for for an animal to, like, don't give a damn what you got going on, he yeah. just mind his own business. Yep. Another so, day in the park. So that's kind of the, yeah. Another, I mean, another day in the Getty. You know, you got a <laughs> lion getting the mall or something, hyenas across the street. We actually saw two kills, sort of. One and a half, as you described it. Right. Well, two uh, and a half, because you got, you got the, what's called, the cheetah killed the... Uh, the baby today. Yes, yes, and but that's a half because we saw we only saw the aftermath, not the kill. Yeah, so it'd be two then. Yeah, well, we 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 saw we we saw a lion kill a um, guinea fowl, which right. supposedly, and it looks like a pheasant or something. Like it, it looks like a cool, you know, like something people would hunt back home. But um, they don't supposed to eat them. He said that was the first time that Yeah, lions like, do not kill these. Yeah, he said it was like it was like he came up, it was like it was the legit the first time it was, they was doing some research, it was like it's the first time they ever seen a lion kill one of these things and then turn we, around and we saw it. And then turn around he kills a second one in front oh, of us. Oh, so we yeah, so he did kill two birds. So we right. saw two two no, and a half. Seen, one is seen one. He we seen him kill one. Yep. But the other one, you know, he told us right before he killed him, like Got you, lions got you, turned, yep. So we've yeah. seen two aftermaths and one kill. So we've seen history. We did see history. Yeah. Not to really, we should be calling the the press about this. Man, who are you telling? A lion killed a guinea fowl. Yeah, that should be on that geo. We saw it. I did. I was. I witnessed that. I seen him pull the, the the feathers off of him and eat his ass. Yeah, it was. And the other lions were looking at him like, "We don't do that." Right. Like, what? That's yeah. not what we do. That but all right, not a big deal. Yeah. On to the next thing. Yeah. And it then wasn't we, a real lion though. It was a uh, like a teenager. Yeah, it was like the punk ass line. I it was did. like a yeah, just he's a not, fucking. He's me. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Yeah. He's like going to go for some shit that's like that's easy, uh, easy kill. Yeah. He ain't gonna go put his life on the line like chase someone. He could eat chicken all day, basically. <laughs> so he, so he did. He killed a guinea fowl. He Which ate is like chicken. Yeah, it's, it's like chicken, and um, it actually looks like a tasty bird. Uh, they said they are really good. Yeah, but. I'm sure humans don't eat them a lot. Yeah, Do they? Uh, yeah, they say they eat them here. Okay, so so then we uh, we also saw today the aftermath, and we were in a herd of like the the driver said this, not me. Seven hundred fifty thousand to a million zebra, 
or wildebeest because yeah. it's birthing season and we're uh, south of serengeti so we left amazing. today to go down to see the uh, wildebeest and there are a ton of babies around but also that means you're going to see some heartbreaking shit but not will because that didn't break will's heart no i was off what because it's, a, it's this part of circle of life bro circle of life right explain that the way that works and listen me. shit just gonna get eaten it just it just happens though it's part of the ecosystem here you know what i mean yeah you got you got you got, you got lines and then you know you got what's on their menu and they gotta go get them yeah so for me personally it's hard to feel bad when I know your ass is supposed to be getting eaten. That's what's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen, though. It's the circle of life. And this wildebeest today, this baby had to be a day old, and oh, we, we rolled up on it. And, and it, it, had, it, it had a bite out of its out. left glute like that looked like uh, you know a bite out of an apple. I mean, and it was a cheetah. Yes, yeah, tense was hanging out. It was, it was pretty... It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. I didn't look at. It, it was like, gnarly. I didn't look at it like, damn, that was a baby. He didn't have a chance to live. No, I mean, you know, it's a it's a cruel, uh, cruel world out here in the Serengeti. So, silver lining didn't have to deal with a lot of it. One day, R.I.P. to that uh, wildebeest. Right. Uh, so we saw, you know, we we basically saw um, two and a half kills. Yeah, right. Uh, and coming away from it, I think the lions gotten a pass i i really like hyenas uh baboons are fun warthogs didn't mention them but again impalas warthogs is kind of cool too warthogs are cool and we, then like the one had like the four babies behind it yeah i thought that was pretty cute yeah that was very cute it looked like a little uh, guinea pig i would have felt bad to see a warthog get lunched oh no way oh i, I wanted one of those little babies ass to get mauled no doubt about it huh <sighs> they just got a lot of personality man um Anyways, so we saw all that. The safari's been fun. Tomorrow we're going to the uh, crater, uh, Ngoro Goro Crater. It's huge. Uh, it's like miles and miles wide. It's like, you know, you're, you're literally standing in a crater with like a thousand foot walls. Um, That's going to be pretty And awesome. there's one way in or two ways in and out. You know, because mm-hmm. there's not like a bunch of passable little spots. So it's cool. We might see a rhino. That's what I'm hoping. Just heard another lion. And it's like close. Yeah, it's probably your room's that way though. His voice is that way, so you're good. And your room again is five yards away. Come on, man. Let's put a fucking lion on the podcast. First podcast ever. What you looking for? My pen. Ink pen? Yeah, my ink pen. No, I ain't seen no ink pen drop off. Well, I hope uh hope I find it because I have some stuff to write. Uh Anyways, we got a mailbag because, huh? You just <laughs> just gonna ask me for my pen. You ink pen. You gotta write some stuff too. Yeah. But. I was talking about that ink pen. Oh, okay. Yeah. You put it in your back pocket. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. All righty. Um, so I I announced that you'd be coming on the pod and. Um, People were excited. Okay. Uh, got a bunch of fans in all, right. all the cities you played in. And um, you played in Tennessee. Yeah. You played in L.A. at the end, and you played in St. Louis, of course, yeah. and Miami. Miami. Uh, so I have questions from a whole bunch of William Hayes fans. And um, let's just open up the mailbag. We do a segment on this uh, pod that we made up. Okay. Nobody's ever done it before. Okay. It's called Mailbag. Okay. So basically what you do is when you don't have anything to talk about, you ask Twitter to basically write the script of your podcast. They send in questions. I like it. Yeah. So it's a nice fail safe. Um, the first question is, uh, can you make a roster with animals you've seen on the trip? Mm. That's from B. Nelly. I get pretty close to it. Okay. I like. I have like the elephants. that will be my O-lineman. Yep. You know, um... So I have my the, the 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 rhinos. Let me start off. No, the elephants would be like <laughs> my guards. Yep. The um, center. Golly. The elephants, your guards. Yeah. Man, they they seem more like tackles to me. No, 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 no. Because the thing about the, the elephant, rhinos are gonna be my tackle. They're more athletic. They're more athletic. Yeah. They're built like guards. But I don't care. Elephants are built like tackles. We had a big and like I want me some Leonard Davises up there. We're gonna move to pocket homes. I know, but like, how does a how does a rhino? I'm just saying, I have a harder time with. I had a harder time with shorter guards 
That play tackle, right? That play tackle. Yeah, but traditionally, if you I ain't play... talking about traditional. You talking? This is my lineup, okay. not yours. Yeah. Okay. So. Right okay. Now. Okay. Right now. Right. So you can respect that. You, did you have? Did so, you know the mailbag? Did you have a hard is... time? With, did you have a hard time with uh, short goal? I mean tackles. Sometimes. Right. Because not all the time. You can't, no. It's hard to get up under. Not all the time. But like they they, they the guards like that are like hard for me. Like tackles like that was hard for me. Yeah, me too. I guess I I can respect that. Come I on. would tell you like my two cents on you know pachyderms right. as offensive lineman. There's three major pachyderms out in this. Right, but this that's, that's, that's you, though. So, so, no, so center, guard, and tackle, those are, we can agree, pachyderms, right? right. Out of the rhinos, elephants. And right, then, so my receivers? And the hippos. My receivers are going to well, be like. Can I tell you what I, how, where I would place them? I put an elephant and tackle, got the longest reach, inside move, put the trunk out. You know, okay. oh, tusk, impale you. Like, okay. you go to spin, spin on an elephant. Okay. It's over. I think I'd rather have an uh, elephant guard and Aaron Donald. Yeah, I mean, I guess so, but, you know, Aaron can line up anywhere. So. And now he can't beat an elephant. You don't think so? Nah. I think he can beat an elephant. Yeah, he might chop club his, uh, his, 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 uh, his trunk down. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll put... I'll put um, AD might be able to beat a... I'm putting uh, the hippos a guard, nice and wide. I know, like that. They don't have to move much. Oh, God, Lee. See? The... See? Right, but, like, hippos and then are Scott, so lazy, Scott though, man. Wells, Center, like Scott hippo, Wells, hippos uh, be like rhino. a hippos be like a Rotavius Watkins. Yes, you don't want that. You don't. He could stay in shape. Oh, I mean, yeah. You, we're we're not running a spread offense here. We ain't running no spread offense. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so so tackle. But he was good for three plays. So tackle elephant, guard hippo, center. I'm I'm taking the rhino because. I just I don't know Scott Wells. Yeah, it's making right. me think about Scott Wells and some okay. of the centers I played with. What about tight end? Uh, Jason Kelsey's got a little rhino vibe. Tight end. Ugh. Grunk. What you thinking? Because I want a bit. I need a bit tight end. So I'm I'm thinking tight end. I'm gonna go. Yeah. I don't know. I'm man. looking up a list of animals real quick out here. We're spending maybe a, a leopard, lot of time. A leopard? Yeah, maybe a leopard. I can see a leopard. Yeah, maybe a the leopard. Was gonna be cheap. Yeah, a, a leopard would be actually pretty good. Because a leopard's fucking fast, powerful, right, right. you know, good good right, route runner, right. probably. Um, so strong taking, at the top of the route. I'm taking the receivers. I'm taking the cheetah. Yeah, definitely, right? right, right. Speedy. Right. There's literally a guy nicknamed Cheetah mm-hmm. I'm taking the that cheetah. plays wide receiver. Um, quarterback? Quarterback, you need somebody who's calm under pressure. Who's that? A jackal. Yes. Yeah. They're jackals. Jackal. Undersize? Yeah. But yeah. so is Kyler Murray. Right. Warhawk, um, running back, fullback. Fullback, for sure. Warthog. Yeah. Um, you know, and we're going to run a lot of 21, so we're going to need him to get in shape. Right. He got to be a bit Warhog. Um, What's taking that to running back? Running back. Think of Ty Gurley. It's just lions just popping off out in the distance. Like, we fucking know you're here. Like, yo, we know. We know. That's by my room. That's not by your room. What room is that? What way is that coming from? Straight ahead. He likes the podcast. What can I say? Uh, running back, I think I'm going to go with, uh, ooh, not the Impala, the other big, beefy deer I know out what here. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so so I, it's going to be like one of these deer-like animals, right? right? Defensive end. I'm, Defensive I'm, end, I probably I'm, I might go lion. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be, and we're going to be like the dude lion, too. So we're not gonna play hard, huh? We're not gonna play hard. No, we're gonna pick and choose our plays. That's not how I like to play. I, I know it's a joke. Oh. Um, nah. I mean, I just think the line, like the male line, like if, it, if some shit go down, you, you know you can count on them. Yes, yes. Big you know? third down. Right. You need to play. You need to play. And I, I got the uh, line too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, now, now moving inside, we're we're gonna do. I'm picking Aaron Donald. I'm going with a um, uh, a honey badger. A honey badger, I like that. Yeah, AD. yeah. They we, we asked uh, our they driver. Mean, they don't like to play. Yep, that's that's him right there. Yeah, they don't it, like to play with people, like even his teammates. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah. not a big jokester. Not a jokester, but like he don't take shit from nobody. Doesn't take shit from anybody. And it's always serious. And very athletic and tough. You're right. And, that, and that's what the honey badger is. And I know that that you know, 
Tyron Matthew is the honey badger, but right. I would put in a motion that if you know we're drafting this team, I agree with you that right. yeah that uh, AD is uh, I asked the driver earlier this week. I said, "Can a lion survive a black mama bite?" And he goes, "No, fuck no." Like basically, and uh, he's like, "The only animal I've seen survive a uh, black mamba bite with regularity is." The honey badger. He'll right. lay down like he's dead for five minutes, and then he just pops up. No, they got like, intervene like him. Like Undertaker. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, you got intervene him. So they're like going in this coma, and then like they come out of shit, like they shake it off and they go back to fighting again. Yep. And uh, I like that. So then we've got linebackers. You know, middle linebacker. They different now. I I, I really like hyenas. Yeah, scavengers because they take all your plays. Yes, they just like you. You make the tackle, and then they like just jump over top. Yep. They be like. Alec oh, I had a hundred tackles this year. Thanks a lot, D line. Right. Yeah. That was damn close. Just a little curious. Just curious about, you know, like how many subscribers we have. How many oh, we have ten thousand, Mr. Lion. Um golly, it's hard to focus. Um I'm terrified. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, dude, we're good. I gotta go to my room. Yeah, well you can't, because that might not even be a lion, dude. I mean shit. So now we've got DBs. Uh, DBs, I guess, you know, what's... Can Cheetahs play both ways? Impalas. DBs are definitely Impalas. Right, pretty. Yeah, just fucking... Real pretty. Just posing all the time. Yeah. In the Serengeti. Right in the cloud. You know, like, that's what the Impala... What you do. Right in the cloud. the prettiest DB I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. 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 Cleet's going to be real neat. Very well-dressed. Yes. Um, DBs, Impalas... For well, sure. safety's Fast different, as though. fuck. Safety's got to be a little different. They got to be like kind of nutcases. You just described Rodney, and Rodney's a safety. Yeah, right. But Rodney's a pretty, the pretty safety. Okay. Like you could have strong safety. He doesn't, like, he, doesn't, he doesn't play pretty. No, 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 no. He's a dog. Yeah. But he's gonna look pretty on that field. He's gonna make sure he's he's, he's right. got his swag adjusted right. correctly. Then you get to like the T.J. McDonald's, Kim Chancellors, those oh, boys. Yeah. They don't. Yeah, that's that's that's. Um, yeah, I, I wonder who that would be. Maybe that's the one animal that we are um we're not getting here. Like a cougar or something? They don't have cougars here. <laughs> right, so I don't know then. Yeah, so anybody have any suggestions on um which which animal would be a safety? All right. Let us know. While in Tanzania, do you think global interaction is important to experience and why? That's from Trent. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Got to travel. I, I just think it gives you another perspective on life. You meet different people, like things you re- – normalcies you take for granted at home. Right. You know, you like learn. the $20 today. Yeah, well, that's, that's you know – I didn't realize how, like, powerful $20 was here compared to, like – Yeah. I mean, I'm, I know it's, like, you know, it's a little bit more poverty here, you know. But it's just the fact that, like, you know, I, I just had a 20 and I was – the guy just been walking me to my room every single night and I handed it to him. I go around the corner, he's like, he started like them to jumping up and down over twenty dollars, and I'm like, and they had then they run to me like, dog, like, you got different reality, right? Yeah, it's we we so we it we, me, we though, take you know? a lot for granted. We do. Hot pizza or cold pizza? That's from uh, Cheeto Dasm. Is that real? Do we cold pizza? Fuck yeah, dude! You eat cold pizza? I had some last week. That is disgusting. It is not. How and- the cheese ain't melted? <laughs> like there's no way in here like you know the cheese is it's, it's already not cooked right but it's like what i'm saying it's cold and it's stiff yes that's but it, it is melted it already got melted right but then when it stiffs and back up that is a fucking great question it stiffs back up yo that's a great question so it makes it not melted no more hey listen for the people listening out there i don't know if you ever thought about this <laughs> once you put a cheese the cheese in the damn once you put that shit in the the witch call is not is is it goes no, into a solid form. I know, but it's um, not melted. But it was melted at one point. So right, can you unmelt cheese? Uh huh. Right, but I mean, conceptually, can you unmelt cheese, bro? Well, that's like saying like you can melt butter, and if you put it back in the refrigerator, it goes back to a solid form. It's not melted no more. Yeah, I get. I mean, hey, listen, that's, come on, man. Technically, you might be right. Shit ain't melted no more, dog. You put that <laughs> shit back in the microwave. What happened? That cheese don't start falling off the... Uh, my my mind is, right. is blown right now. Um, that was yeah, deep. Co- cold... No, nah, we don't eat no damn cold pizza. Cold pizza's good. No, it's not. Try it. I'm not eating no stiff cheese. Try it, dude. I promise The bread's you. cold. It's 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 remarkable. Cold, it, ta- it tastes... Like... 
different. I can't like so you eat cold chicken too then. Yeah, I mean I eat cold chicken a lot. That's disgusting. I mean, you know, I don't have time to heat up chicken. You don't have a minute to heat up some chicken? Very busy. I okay, do podcasts. Right. That's that's deep. Good for you. My time is not gonna consist When of you do when stuff. you start doing podcasts, you're gonna have to eat chicken cold now. Never. That's what all the podcasters do. Do they? Yeah. Hell yeah. Podcast name for me then, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't eat no damn cold food. Uh, well, cold like, pizza. So you eat all cold food? Like you don't? I eat don't a lot eat. of cold food. Name name a food that you might heat up. Everything. I don't eat nothing cold. Nothing. Fruit. You heat your fruit up. No, like that's that's supposed to be cold. Chill. You know the fruit don't supposed to be hot. I'm talking about food that's like supposed to like was served hot at one point in time. How about gazpacho? I don't know what that is. That was a trick question. Okay. It's good because it's gazpacho is cold soup. I want to eat cold soup. It's very good. I warm it up. <laughs> then it's just fucking soup. But right, it's soup. <laughs> soup don't supposed to be served cold. No, well, it is. Soup supposed it's to like warm gazpacho. you up. Gazpacho. That's not soup then. Yeah, that's why it's a, a gazpacho. Well, where's that? They don't say that in America. They say that in like the states. Yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> what restaurants? S- high certain, end restaurants. certain high end. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I suppose you can get some gazpacho at like a deli or something. I've never in heard a big of it. city. Um, high point. We don't say that. We say hot soup. What What else do I not heat up? Um, rice sometimes. You like, eat cold rice. <laughs> yeah. Stiff rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is disgusting. I mean, I don't have fucking time to heat up rice, man. What you mean, you, don't, you got time to put it on a plate, don't you? Sometimes so I you, just eat it out of the the carton there, you know, leftover Chinese food. Yeah, like, but it's not. It hasn't been in the refrigerator. It's been in the refrigerator. So you tell you tell me you take Chinese food that's been in the refrigerator and you just take it and you just start munching on it. Yeah, sometimes. Damn, man, that's that's yeah, that's that's tough. <laughs> cold pizza, try it. I would never eat cold pizza. We got to make a bet or something because I want I, the, I want this pizza. for you. I want My cheese it, has to be melted. I want it. it nothing, it's not melted. Never mind. It's stiff. Cold pizza. Will likes uh, hot pizza only. Anyways. Hot food. What's the best uh, delivery pizza, by the way? Papa John's. Jeez. Listen, though. I don't like that like real authentic pizza. I know, I'm, you, a, I'm a Did you see like what that. happened with him? Papa yeah, John? Yeah. Yeah. It still didn't stop making making good damn pizza. <laughs> what? I thought he, yeah, I thought like the pizza was basically, can- I haven't been ordering Papa John's. Why? I just thought it was kind of canceled. I thought pizza was the, Papa John's was, but I like Domino's what better you mean anyway. pizza was canceled? Did you see what he did? Yeah. I thought people weren't giving him the business anymore. I know a lot of people that I don't mean, order I, it. But I mean, I, that, that's cool. <laughs> like, I'm not going to like stop something I like. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, like, might, I might not, I don't agree with what he did. Yes. No, I still I, like Papa John's pizza. I don't like no other pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like Gucci, that was easy. That's real, dude. You know, I, I gave up Gucci, you know, because of all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but like. Because you don't like Gucci. Huh? Because you I, don't like I, it I mean, that much. I, I did like Gucci, but it's like, I don't have to eat Gucci. Like, you know, if I, if I, my family want a pizza, it's like, what am I going to get one? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like, oh, I want some. Uh, there are so many other pizzas. Pizza Hut or something like that. I don't like the way they taste. <laughs> Papa John's, I get my pizza exactly how I want it, and it's like, you know, I, can't. I, I don't cannot. like other pizzas. Oh my god! Yeah. Anyways, I like uh, Domino's better. Mm. Like birthday party, I hate baseball, Domino's. baseball uh, award dinner, birthday yeah, I don't party like pizza. Sauce. Yeah, I just like the uh, consistency, and it's great cold. So, um, what kind out. of pizza do you eat? Domino's, bro. No, I'm talking about like what type? Cheese. Just now, cheese? No, if I'm going to put some, if I if I can build my you, own. You just eat a cheese pizza? Sometimes. You're not even a man. Because I eat a cheese yeah, pizza? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you can't, you got to put meat on the uh, pizza. Um. <laughs> All right, so I like. Some veggies. So if I'm going to build a pizza, I'm putting. The only way to eat a pizza is to build it. Okay. A lot of people eat cheese pizza. Right, that's like you might as well just. A lot of people eat, a, eat cold pizza. You might as well go eat you a damn uh, a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> you eating a damn grilled cheese sandwich, man? Come on, man. That's not true. That, that's how I look at it. It's totally well, listen, much listen. different you than a grilled, grilled cheese, cheese sandwich. sandwich. 
From Papa if, John's, this if I, mean, I wanted a grilled cheese sandwich, I would just order okay, a fucking listen, grilled cheese sandwich. You don't have to sound educated to get your point across. The only thing you got to say, just listen. At the end of the day, eat your cheese pizza, dog. Shout out to CNO Restaurant, Charlottesville. Best grilled cheese sandwiches they of all do, time. They got yeah. Do. You should come visit just to have one of the grilled cheeses there. All right. All yeah. Right. Very right. good. Five stars. Is it a five star restaurant or is it just a five star grilled cheese sandwich? It's not a five star restaurant per se. Right. It's a very good restaurant. Uh, and they have. How's their sanitation school? Excuse me? Their sanitation school. It's very clean. No, I'm just saying, like, my grandma always used to tell me, like, don't never really look at the sanitation school because, like, the Lord it is, like, a lot of times the food would be tasting better. That's, that's, I like that. I, I do like that, actually, in general, but this good. is a clean place and the food's good. Okay. But the grilled cheese is, uh. What's, make, what's makes it so special? Is it, like, the thick bread? Yeah. I don't like thick, thick bread. No, I, you you have to come taste it. You got to put, like, on I'm some not, Wonder Bread? I'm not going to try to. Put a little butter in the pan? Yeah. Oh, I make some banging grilled cheese sandwiches. Well, it's also a food that a lot of people make good grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, but grilled cheese ain't really like a that. Yeah, that's not hard to make. A exactly, that's what right. I'm saying. So congratulations. Right. I, um, I put a little bacon on it. Oh, that wouldn't be good. Now, cheese, if you mix mix in some bacon, you're yeah, doing I, something. I do, we do bacon and uh, some look uh, ham. So if I'm building a pizza, okay, that was me building a grilled cheese. <laughs> nice. All right. If I'm building a pizza, I'm putting probably chicken, green peppers, mushrooms, a little garlic. Why you like pineapple on your pizza? I do put pineapple on my pizza, honestly. But like, you know, it's a hot button issue for people. Right, people don't like that for some reason. They be like, oh, people very, who eat pizza don't eat put pineapples on it. Very polarizing. Right, that's fine. I don't get it. Um, I don't get you putting chicken on a pizza. Well, if if I'm gonna put some meat on a pizza, it might be. Well, you know what? Pepperoni. Sausage. I'll put sausage on a pizza way before I'll put pepperoni on a pizza. Right, right. Pepperoni is is that's a thing of the past. You know, it's teenager stuff. Oh, right. I can need to grow up then. Yeah, adults do not eat pepperoni pizza. They eat cheese pizza. Health, Pe- health pepperoni reasons. pizza is gonna ruin you your. You feel like I'm like a health freak. It's too. gonna ruin your be- your breath. Um, what do you mean? Pepperoni pizza. Have you been walking around eating pepperoni pizza no, and like breathing I on people? Eat, I always brush my teeth on that. Okay, so you're at a pizza party. Right. You eat a entire person. Hold you. on. You eat an entire personal pepperoni pizza right. like I like Big Play Hayes would do. Right, right, right. Got his own pizza, right? Right. In in the cut. Eating a fucking pepperoni pizza. I want to eat a pepperoni pizza. Then I you know get, what you come from though. But then you come out into the kitchen right. to socialize more. Right. You're going to talk to 40 people. You're going to brush your teeth before that? You have a toothbrush on you in your pocket? No, but this is what I do, though. Um, and I've been using them. I just ran out of them today. Um, but it's like these little things. Um, they like little throwaways, like, and they look like a little toothpick, and they got like a little brush on the end of them. Hmm. And I just like hit my teeth with it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I done brushed my teeth every single day after we done ate lunch. That's great. I did it. I did it with. Um, but I didn't do it like with a toothbrush. I did like yeah. I did it with thing, with a just, toothbrush. It's kind of cool. I'm just saying but that that doesn't re- that doesn't time. really count. And if you eat pepperoni pizza, that's not doing the trick. Well, I'm just telling your you breath is going to be ruined. And also, it's high in nitrates, and we don't need that. We're thirty something year old men. Um, that's what I said. Like you do it also for health reasons. Yeah, health reasons, and honestly, sausage tastes just as good on a pizza for me. Right chicken pretty good um might throw some spinach on there you know i I don't do anything too exotic on the pizza right i just do meat lovers and i throw me some pineapples every now and then i throw some little black olives and onions Ugh, black olives and onions yeah on a pizza yeah i know people i I always see that box it's like the supreme so it's like a supreme meat lovers i've looked at the box for onions and olives for fucking years and not never once moved the pencil Towards that. Right, I never once thought about eating a cold pizza either, so we're in the same boat. One of us is right, one of us is wrong. Right. Okay. I mean, probably more people say, like, I don't eat the pizza the right way. But it's like, that's the way I like to eat my pizza. Jeez. From Papa John's. Okay. <laughs> and they got some banging ass breadsticks, too. My son love them. Is that a lion? Nah, it's not a lion. You crazy as hell, they ain't a lion. What? <laughs> What's that? What's that, Chris? Might be a lion. 
That didn't sound like that sound this morning when that dude said it was a nine? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's probably something that can kill you. The one thing everybody loves hearing from you about, which is dinosaurs. Okay. Uh, we have a guy on the trip named Miles Garrett who really believes. Oh, he's, he's all the way sold on that thing. It's even hard to talk to him because he's so, like, convinced and about these bones and i mean he's, he's a uh, was a paleontologist i think that's what he said he was paleontologist um, well like, he wants to he majored in paleontology yeah he's going to be it i don't know i don't even question that man how passionate he is about those dinosaurs yeah so what do you think he's gonna do oh, at the end i feel he's going he's digging for bones i ain't no doubt about it and your thought on the bones i think it's crazy why because I, I don't know if it's a dinosaur bone what could it be if it's not a dinosaur i mean bone? i think it could be like a femur from a giraffe and then, like, they said, oh, shit, let's go create something and call it a dinosaur. And, I don't know. And I what's the motive? Because huh? I understand that you're a For money. Everything is about money in this world, dog. Yeah, just follow the, the, right. the paper trail, huh? Right, that's it. And lead you to fake dinosaurs. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's... So, to make money, they governments dig up, have... Dug up bones. Somehow, go put them without in museums. disturbing the topography. Right, so museums don't make money? No, but hold on, man. That's Let not a just, question. I'm, museums make a lot of money. Right. You proved it. I ain't proved nothing. I'm just saying, why would a government, why would it be a global cooperation? Because there's paleontologists of all nationalities, right? right, right, right? right, right. So did, did they get together at the UN? No, no, I, and, I didn't say it. it's not a black and white thing. No, I didn't. That's right. not what I mean. I'm, right. I'm saying. You said, you said all nationalities. like. No, I'm saying all. Yeah, I mean, well, there's. Right. Look, so hear this out, right? They they took me to a, They took me to a museum, right? Check this out. They took me to a museum. Yes. And they showed me where dolphins came from. And once and once I heard that story, and I went okay, there with I, an open mind, like, okay, I might be tripping. Like, it could be some damn dinosaurs okay. out here in this world. I want I want to get back to the No, guess what he told me? But I, I want to clear something up with you. Right. When it comes to nationality, Australia, for right, instance, right. and Canada. Right. Okay? They have, you're saying they've cooperated with this whole lot. Right. Uh, and Brazil alike. Right. And Sweden and right. Denmark and... Right. India, right? Everybody's in on this joke. And make, who said make, it was a joke? To make, to make. Uh, you just asked me what reason. I'm just, and I'm just, I'm just out, out of blue saying shit. They make a lot of money. That's a good reason. But I'm just saying. You that, said what reason? Yeah, but I'm saying. So that wouldn't what's be a good the reason. motive for making up? Listen, dinosaur? Let, answer money. So if that, like, no. listen, if, answer my question. If that was the motive, would that be a good motive? To make if, a lot of money off of it. It was more lucrative. No, answer my question. How you know it's not lucrative? Bro, how much money do you think museums let's, make? Let's Google it. You don't take this. Google how how much money do dinosaurs museums make? I don't know. You'll be the first to Google that. Google is going to be impressed as fuck that somebody asked that question to the machine. There's no fucking way anybody else is asking that question. Hmm? And and it's it's really irrelevant because it's not lucrative enough. But you didn't answer my. You said what reason? I gave you a, a legit reason. Okay, you. Yes. That was my. That, I understand. That's a reason. I think I think we're on different. Both on trains, different tracks. See what I'm saying? Right, right. So I, all I'm saying is that imagine all these governments. I got you something. All these governments, yes. Um. So a, a good reason to like kind of like start making up this shit is like. What'd you Google? Because. What'd you Google? Huh? What did you Google? It doesn't matter. Okay, he didn't Google how much money. <laughs> no, no. This is like for the. So how much do a skull cost? A million. The twenty-five to a hundred thousand dollars. Twenty-five to a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. So that that I say, how much does it cost? Yeah. Okay. So, so it says the record price for over oh, it was a, a record price was over eight million dollars. Pay for a T Rex. Sue now resides in the Field Museum of Chicago. <laughs> how stupid that shit just sound. <laughs> hey, honestly, when I read that, how stupid did that shit sound? <laughs> Sue resides in Chicago now. It doesn't sound that stupid. It sounds pretty damn stupid. Like you was like paleontologists and scientists. They they're like quirky, you know, kind of. I mean, not in a disparaging way. They're kind of nerdy. They want to name their dinosaurs. Right, so it's not that weird. I would right. name a fucking dinosaur if I had the opportunity. Absolutely. And so, I guess what I'm saying Jurassic is Jurassic Park is a good reason. To, uh, that's made a lot of money off that too. So this this is all for Jurassic Park yeah. and. Of course not, Chris. I just wanted to just say something stupid just so you can help you out. <laughs> no, only thing I'm just saying, listen, you, you asked me what, what a reason could be, and I just said to make money. Yes. 
That's, that's my reason. I don't know. I don't know why. What is it like being on the trip with Miles? It's actually been really awesome. Uh, he's I a, mean, with the dinosaurs. That's yeah, what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, oh. He's gave me. A, he's given me a whole different perspective of people who search for dinosaurs. Yeah. All right. And what is that perspective? You could be like clueless about certain things, but so smart in other areas of life. Yeah. Because you think he's pretty intelligent. Oh, he's very intelligent. Yeah, he's he's big. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and and but he's 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 a very like he's 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 a cool dude too at the same time. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. But this dinosaur shit, I just don't get it, dog. Yeah, it's a real strike. Yeah, like he deep into it. Yeah. That man told me like he he's, he want me and him to go in like a digging like kind of like the dead for a bone. <laughs> and in my mind, I think Mal's gonna place the shit there before we get there. To be honest with you, just so he can look like a genius. He gonna go ask somebody, hey man, listen, I got this dude, like, he, he just be sending some bullshit. Let's go ahead and like place a bit. Oh, hell nah, let's put the whole, fever. let's put the whole, let's put the whole, <laughs> let's put the whole T-Rex in the ground. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And we're gonna like, you know. Let man, me just whip this up in three weeks. Right, man. Come on, man. Nah, no. man. Now I was gonna do this shit next year. So he uh, can like make it like. He's got a whole year to right, fabricate this right. T-Rex. It's fucking absurd. Right. That's what I'm telling you. No, I'm saying this theory is in. No, let's, let's, it can be absurd. Yeah. It was, but no and, man and, ain't never seen no damn dinosaur. Though, I can tell you that. That's you're absolutely right. Right. Yeah. But man, I've seen every other extinct animal other than a prehistoric age. Well, yeah. So right. Which, what you're effectively saying? My, my effectively saying is like, if man ain't seen that shit, it didn't exist. And the only thing we ain't seen is the shit in that bullshit prehistoric age that they done started making these damn all this money from these museums for. <laughs> and that's my reason I ain't talking about it no more. <laughs> You were a brilliant basketball player. You're actually great at every sport. Hey, you said it, not me, dog. Uh, in high school, tell tell the people about your last game. You talking about the? You talking about the game? Well, there's only one last game. No, no, I'm, that's what they call it, the game. Oh, they call it the game. Yeah, they don't call it my last basketball game. Okay. They be like, man, hey, man, ask Hayes about the game. Like, you know, Hayes always talking about the game. Uh -huh. He be like, they be like, man, it's some shit they ain't never seen for. I'm just gonna put my mic down and let you work. I actually, I, um. The last five minutes, I broke my right hand, and I shot with my left hand the rest of the game and hit 25 points. 25 points yeah. in five minutes, yeah? Yeah. How, I went, I went how were most of those buckets threes. scored? Oh, three. Yeah. How many threes do you, do you remember? I think I went seven for seven. Damn, so 21 of your 25 points were yeah. threes. That's really impressive. Thank you. Uh, how were the other two shots? One was a dunk. Yeah. And um it was crazy. Like Sounds the game crazy. the game was on yeah. the line and they needed me. Yeah. And I ain't had no choice but to show up and show up. So that one was a dunk and then what were the other what was the other shot? Um so free throws. Point. Oh. Cause you know, I had to ice the game. Yeah. Yeah. Tried to foul me. Like uh like uh Anthony. And that was Davis like that was like my first that something. was like that was a mamba moment. Yeah. We just didn't know what it was called then. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Rest in peace, Kobe. So I had a mamba, a mamba moment. Before. You had a mamba moment. Yeah. But just not that one time, plenty of times. But that was the game. Yeah. State championship. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And we was down we was down with 21. You didn't win the national championship, though? Uh-huh. No, it's high Just school. the state championship? High school. Okay, I was just going to say, it's just not that big of a deal. Right, that, right, 50 right, 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 right. I mean, it's a great game. Right, right, right. That's, that's what it was about. I'm not, no, a, I'm not an NBA player, boss. Yeah, I'm just saying I, it was just a game. But you can beat NBA players. Yeah, some. That I, I question who can, can you beat, beat off the top of your head. Uh, I think I could beat Andre one on one. Dollar one on one. Really? Um, you just asked me, didn't you? Tell me why you, um, think you could beat Iggy one on one. Iggy Iggy is a great basketball player. He outworks all those opponents he go against. Yeah. But I just I just haven't found a person I feel who can outwork me yet. So I think I would I would I would challenge Iggy in a game and I just outwork him, man. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I'm and I'm a, what do you see and I'm a great shooter too. What about weak spots in his game that you've noticed? Um, if you're scouting him, it it ain't about him. Yeah, it's that's about that's you. the thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It ain't yeah, about that's it. where you remember right. John Tyler Hansborough. Oh yeah, that's not even close. Okay, what? Well, talk to me about he's how, just, how he's that just would a, he's go. He's a try hard guy. How would that go? Oh, one on one. Yeah. I would beat Tyler Hansbrough. Eleven. Hansbrough. We'll go 11. 11, yeah. He might score two points on me. And it's going to be off some, like, some goofy shit that he's going to do. Like a fucking Mike and Drill type thing. Right, like, 
you know, I don't know, like Sky they up. just like keep like tapping the ball up, like yeah. trying to get rebounds and shit. Just luckily going off his head or some shit, you know. How are you gonna score on him? Have I want to? That right? Yeah, Tom Hansberg cannot guard me one on one. We had this conversation. We was in St. Louis. Yeah, in like 2014. Yeah, and then what did I say? You said that I told you look for Tom Hansberg mm-hmm. and get me my one on one. I'll bust his ass wide. And what you say? All right, I'm gonna do it. Uh, yeah, I, I just didn't NBA. know. How, I didn't know how to text Tyler. You should have. Um, you should have uh, went to social media. You also said you could beat Carlos Boozer. Oh, easily. That's another one. A Duke guy, no chance. Why do you say that? I mean, I seen what my Tar Heels did to him a long time for a while. You know, your Tar Heels. Yeah. You went to Winston Salem. Right, State. right, right. But I'm a Tar Heels fan. <clears throat> Got you. Hey, hey! Don't there, don't, don't, don't try to uh, are there play any, the mighty ram. Are there any other? Like, how about? Um, talk, to, talk to me. I'm pulling up just random pictures. Okay, NBA players. Vince Carter, right now. Oh, absolutely. You could be. Hell yeah! Is that right? Absolutely. What if Vince listens to this podcast? I don't give a damn if Vince listens to his podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get him this fucking podcast. Well, give him to this podcast, Chris. <laughs> What you think? Like, are you talking about Toronto Vince or Atlanta Vince? I'm talking about Vince right now. Nah, nah, Vince right now. How would you? Uh, how would you? What's your? This was before, 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 plan, before, right? before I had started having, before I had started having back surgeries. Yeah. Uh huh. That's true. But right. Like, yeah. What? what I, you keep asking me these stupid ass questions. What's that game plan against me? <laughs> Answer that question. Dunk on you, fucking. No, nah, I ain't getting dunked on for one. Post you up and like knock you down. That ain't happening either. And you'd be like, foul. I know who I could beat one on one right now. In a straight game to 11. Well, when I was healthy, a straight game to 11. And you're going to think I'm bullshit with you. Okay. Because he ain't going to just take me down low and just like abuse me. Zion Woods. Guarantee it. You could beat him. Oh, yeah. He ain't going to. What are you going to do? Shoot jump shots on him? He might not have to at all. No, he, he's not. He's not going by me. You think that bitch is going to go by me and just dunk on me one on one? Yeah, I do. Hell no. He's doing it to a national. I, listen, no, 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 no. He's doing it. He's doing it national, with like. No, no, no. Listen, I get that. I get that. But he ain't playing them one on one. It's a whole different game. How? How you, is? Because you ain't. You ain't. You ain't never seen mama mentality come out. Yeah. How? How is one on one suit you better? Because he ain't got nobody else to help him guard me. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I know I can guard him. Question is, can he guard me? That's a mystery. We'll never know. But I know. I'm a one-on-one legend. All right. Right. I right, said so I beat right. Alex Ogletree. You should see how I destroy him. Uh, and he and he's no and he's no nowhere near him. But yeah, you know, he's an NFL player. Right. Who probably yeah, is be. not great at basketball. Who? I mean, you just give me somebody and I'll destroy the ass. I tried to get you to get me an NBA player back in the day, didn't Kyrie I? Kyrie Irving. Kyrie's a good one-on-one player. I don't know. I I'll probably struggle with him a little, but he'll probably get me. He'll probably get me like eleven to nine. KD, I could probably be KD. Okay. Sure. Jump shooter. Good segue he, here. He, he ain't going. He ain't going to drop in on me. I wanted to get a story uh, before we close, and I send you back to your room. Uh, no, tell me, you ain't going to just send me back to my room. There's lions. I'm gonna leave your room. There's You're not gonna lions. send me nowhere. There's lions. You know, for one, I ain't leaving this motherfucker till my dog comes and get me. That's, that's, the, that's a fact. That's the. Uh, now, you're a bad motherfucker. You just put me out this room where I'm coming. But let's let's go. What are you saying? I wanted to close with a story about your concussion. What about it? How it happened. I only had one in my whole life. Yeah, it's serious shit. <laughs> But I'm, saying, but I'm trying to figure out, how'd like, you, why, we got, you get the why we got to talk about my concussion, man? Because I told you, I said, I have it written down here in the notes, concussion story. Okay, well, it, before the podcast. it was it was actually, um, it was something I'll never forget. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> we were playing against Kansas City, and it was fucking freezing out there. And I remember just talking so bad to the fans before the game, like really bad. And... The game start going. We go out down the field. We come off. We get like a little three and out. I'm, I come on the sideline, and next thing I know, I feel something hit me inside the head. And I'm like, and at this point in time, I'm out of it. So like, I turn around and I look in the crowd because I thought somebody hit me with like a brick or something, dog. Like the shit hurts so bad. I swear to you. 
And I turned around, I was like, who the, who the, and I'm cussing, I'm like, who the F just hit me? <laughs> and Jason Jones goes, he goes, he looks at me, he goes, you don't know what happened? I said, nah. I said, Kerry Collins threw the ball out of bounds and hit you in the head. I said, <laughs> I said, I said, I said, what the fuck you just say? He said, you just got hit in the head with a football. So as a man, I was like, listen, I ain't going out just on a concussion. You know what I mean? I go in the next series and legit, we supposed to run a game like a T stunt, and I just take our sprint like 20 yards down the field. <laughs> like, I kid you not. So, and then they was like, you done, dog. That was, that was my day. That was my day. <laughs> that was my day. Yeah. And it was Kerry Collins. Yeah, he threw the ball out of bounds, and my own teammate threw the ball out of bounds, hit me in the head, man. Knocked me out of the game. <laughs> you were talking shit. Man, dog, I thought Kerry. I thought somebody, like, from the stands threw something and hit me in the head with it. This is an arrowhead? Yeah, <laughs> and it was December. Yeah, the ball was like a brick. Right. So like legit, like I turned around and I just like start snapping, and like I knew <laughs> I knew something crazy just happened because all of the, the whole defense was like turned looking at me, and like I'm turned. I'm like, y'all ain't gonna do shit. Y'all just let the man just hit me with something, man. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a harrowing tale. Right. Um, Why don't you ask me like stuff that I've done to people? Um, hey, William, tell me about the time you did something. So <laughs> I'm done, man. Hey, listen, man, it was nice uh, being here. Thanks you for inviting me, Chris. Long, you're a um, man of many spirits, just not a good one. <laughs> I cannot fucking deal with this right now. All right, well, it's been cool. Uh, it is always good to have my buddies on the podcast, but to do it halfway around the world on a safari with a lion outside the tent is pretty fucking cool. The fact that it's summer here is really cool. <laughs> I just thought about that shit, dog. Yes, dude. Southern I thought it was here. winter here. Yeah, no. Because it's winter back home. Yeah, no. That's... I didn't know it worked that way. Plot twist. Yeah, twist the hell out of me. <laughs> and I thought Africa was like super hot. It's like Cali. It is hot. I mean, but this is a right, right. Where we at now? Decently temperate. It feels area. good out here. Yeah, still get sunburned. I got sunburned today. Right, the, you get sunburned in Cali though. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying. I mean, it's not a fucking, it's not a spring day in It's Minnesota. like 82. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice day. Tomorrow's gonna be nice too. We'll be in the crater. Um, and uh, my man, you just complain about the heat at 82 degrees. <laughs> That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard, uh. I'm not complaining. Um, I got sunburn from A to <laughs> You're not even a real man. Real man don't get sunburn from A to Z weather. I'm not a real man, the guy that's about to get a guy and pay him $10 to take him 15 feet to his room. Right. I'm not sure if it's 15 feet. But I know it's a line outside. It might be. And no, ain't no mic to it. So we're, we're going to go outside and listen to the lion. Who's going outside? We're going to go out there and listen to the lion. But he 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 only goes when he ready. Like for some reason, I think this line is like kind of spotting us. Yeah. And I'm like bullshitting with you. Yeah. He only like like roars when we sitting down. Oh shit. Or bark. So, so we gotta stand up. We gotta sit down here. Start that show out again. You want that microphone over there? What you do? Stop. All right. That's a good point. All right. Green light pod out. Africa edition. Saya.